Now, as Israel prepares for a ground offensive, ordering mass evacuations in Gaza and amassing troops at the border, the potential humanitarian consequences remain grim, and Israel's options limited as world leaders continue to negotiate the crisis. Until Friday last week, Israel had bombed the Gazan enclave 6,000 times. Israel says its top priority is to target Hamas's infrastructure and leaders and focus on its secret tunnels, but the challenge of navigating the urban war remains real. Even though uh, Israeli troops are far from advanced and um, far more advanced and sophisticated, a ground invasion won't be easy. Gaza is densely populated, filled with hideouts and booby traps, civilians being used as human shields. How will Israel distinguish between civilians and militants? Can it raise Gaza to the ground? It could weaken international support. Can the Hamas even be eliminated? It has regional support. There's also the question of the hostages and their fate. The Israeli government is under intense pressure to save as many lives as possible. What happens to the two-state solution as well? All of this comes in the back of the massive military deployment in southern Israel. Israel, which has superpowers backing it, the Israeli military has called 460,000 reserve forces, adding to its 170,000 strong standing army. But for the militant group, Hamas fighters are perhaps a tenth of the likely invasion force. Hamas has nearly 16,000 armed militants who are expected to fight off Israeli forces. Another 6,000 Islamic Jihad militants are expected to join in. Moreover, they neither have the tanks nor the air power that is available to Israel. There's also the possibility that the offensive could evoke a sharp reaction from Iran and its axis of resistance in Syria, Lebanon and Yemen. The Arab countries, the Arab League and the African Union chiefs have warned Israel that the Gaza invasion could lead to what they call a genocide of unprecedented proportions if Israel does in fact attack Gaza. There's a possibility that the country will have to fight a two-front war as well from the north. A senior leader of the Iran-backed Hezbollah militant group has warned that it is fully ready to join the conflict, raising a specter uh, of the second front opening with a far more potent adversary along Israel's northern border with Lebanon. So, if the ground offensive is imminent, the near certain reality is that it will be bloody. It is possible that international political support for Israel might dip as more Palestinian civilians are killed or remained trapped or without food and shelter.